Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Josh. I'm here with Butler Automotive Group. Uh, today I want to talk to you about the 2019 Ford Ranger. Disclaimer up front, I'm not a salesperson. I'm not here to sell you a truck, but I was lucky enough to be able to take one of these trucks a few weeks ago over to Bend and I actually loved the truck so much that I went and bought my own. Today what I wanted to do is just kind of give you a quick video of my first impressions of the truck after driving it for the weekend and then now that I've had this one for a few weeks, kind of give you a non-salesperson's point of view of how this truck actually drives how it kind of compares to the competition. It's the things that I love and things I don't like about the truck and uh, hopefully kind of give you guys an idea of what the 2019 Ranger is all about. All right, so the first thing I want to talk to you guys about, this is probably the biggest talking point of the Ranger and that's the price of this truck. There's no denying that nowadays the prices of trucks have definitely gone up. Now, if you take a comparable trim package of a Ford Ranger versus a Toyota Tacoma versus the Chevy Colorado, uh, the GMC Canyon, Nissan Frontier, here, and you'll see that they're all very competitively priced. So again, no denying that these trucks are not cheap, but when comparing to the competition at a comparable trim package level with the same amount of options, uh, you're really not looking at that much of a price difference. It's definitely something to kind of do your homework on a little bit and check it out. So now we've talked about the price. I want to talk about like the things that I really like about the trucks and things that really stood out to me. So first is the gas mileage on this truck. I was a little skeptical getting into this truck and driving it, but man, this truck gets really, really good gas mileage. I'm actually really impressed with how good the mileage is on this thing. So I'm averaging about 21 and a half miles per gallon in the city and then uh, about 24 to 25 on the freeway. The couple times I have had to fill this thing up, it's cost me about between $40 and $50 to fill up from a fully empty tank. On this truck specifically, this has the FX4 package, which is Ford's off-road package. Pretty cool thing, you've got skid plates that run the entire bottom side of the truck. You also have terrain management, which is a really cool system with Ford. It's basically a dial where you can adjust, depending on your driving conditions, the truck will automatically adjust the way the power is delivered to the wheels. So you've got, you know, sand, mud, snow, ruts, dirt, roads. This one has off-road suspension as well, so the suspension's going to be a little bit beefier, a little bit stiffer. You definitely kind of feel that when you're driving. I wouldn't say it's a rough ride, but it's definitely not a very smooth, comfortable car feeling ride. It's It drives like a truck, that's for sure. The FX4 package also comes with the locking rear differential. It's really cool to be able to throw this thing a four low turn on the locking rear diff. And now moving on to the interior of the truck, you have the Sync 3, which is an awesome feature for being able to hook your phone up via Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. My truck, personally, it does not have navigation on it, but because of the Sync 3, I have Android Auto on my phone. So whenever I'm using the navigation on my phone, like Google Maps, it shows up on the screen. The Ford Pass app for your phone is awesome. So it's an application for your phone where you can remotely start, lock, unlock your truck. You can look and see like what your tire pressures are, how much gas you have in your tank, its exact location. Really cool thing too that I like that's a great safety feature. The third brake light is a flashing brake light. So as soon as you step on the brake pedal, you'll get three flashes before the light goes solid red. Uh, really cool just to keep the drivers behind you aware of when you're actually braking. So for me, one of the biggest selling points on this truck, I've been racing downhill mountain bikes since I was a little kid. When I'm buying vehicles, I search for something that's gonna suit my lifestyle and the fact that I'm probably up in the hills and in the woods more than I am back home and in the cities and everything. Um, I need a truck that can get me off-road, that can carry all of my riding gear, I can fit my bikes in here, I can do all that stuff. Ford did an incredible job at building this truck around the extreme sports enthusiast. So whether you're a mountain biker, a snow skier, snowboarder, kayaker, into rafting, rock climbing, whatever it may be, this truck was really designed around the extreme sports athletes and I think that's amazing. And you'll see if you come and take this truck for a drive, I mean, it absolutely suits the outdoor enthusiast lifestyle and I really really love that about the truck um, I think that was one of my big parts about buying this truck is that it's designed to be able to take from the showroom floor straight to the trails to go and ride or straight to the river to hop in your raft and, and go hit some white water and I think that's a really cool thing that Ford did when designing this new truck here. So now that I've covered all the uh, things I really liked about the truck, I'm gonna hit some of the things that I disliked about the truck and some things that I wish it did have. So for me, the biggest thing, which most people probably wouldn't notice this, but if you are a truck person, then you'll notice this, is that the Rangers definitely have a really 
really heavy front end squat on it. So the front end sits much lower than the rear end of the truck does, and that can easily be fixed by ordering a leveling kit. Again, most people are probably not going to notice this, but this is something that I definitely noticed right off the bat. The other thing too that I wish, Toyotas have this, and I know some of the Colorados have this, are a wireless phone charger. The other thing too, the back seats do not fold all the way flat. The back seat does flip up, but the back side of it doesn't fold all the way down. The Tacomas have that feature, which was really cool. Um, if you have dogs, that's an awesome thing to be able to fold those back seats all the way flat so your dogs have a platform to be able to walk back and forth and stick their head out the window and everything. All right, guys, so now that you know a little bit more about the truck, I just wanna thank you for uh, tuning in and watching this. We've got some more Ranger videos coming out where we're gonna cover some more features. I definitely, I love this Ranger. I love so much about it, and it fits my lifestyle as a mountain biker, as an outdoor enthusiast, um, as a very active person. I absolutely love the truck, and it fits me perfect. So if you guys have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out, give us a call. So yeah, drop us some comments, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys on the next video. Appreciate it. Talk to you guys later.